Hi friends, how are you? Surprise seeing you on a Friday. I know this is not a normally scheduled video because it's just not a normal video. I know that the only people that will click on this is like my loyal subs, so thank you for clicking on this. I just wanted to take an opportunity outside of my normal Monday, Thursday videos and outside of vlogs to like hang out and chat with you guys. I figured a fun thing to do while I do it is just do my everyday makeup because why not? And that's just more entertaining than talking head like most of my videos. I just have you know, a lot of things that I want to chat about and get your opinion on and kind of as my channel continues to grow, I've been doing a lot of self-reflection. So we're going to chat about all those things as I put on my face for the day. And I'll kind of also, as we go, mention what I'm putting on my face. So I'm going to start with that sunscreen. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, I've been trying to find a cheap sunscreen and I love this one and I've been using it a lot. It's the Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer. Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I'll, I'll try my hardest to link most of these things down below for you, but I'm just gonna sunscreen. Also in one of my subscription boxes, I got Tarte's base tape. So I've been playing around with that too. I guess this should maybe go under sunscreen. I don't know, but it's fine. I like it, it smells like coconuts. I have been listening to a lot of YouTube, like podcasts on the business side of YouTube lately. And one thing that everyone keeps saying over and over and over is like, how bad it is to have just like a lifestyle channel and how you should have a niche, which I thought was interesting because I don't want a niche. <laughs> so I guess let me first start by saying how much I appreciate you guys because first off, this community is just incredible and awesome and I love all of you so much and I get to talk to you a lot via Instagram DMs and sometimes comments here and you just actually truly are my friends. I, I love that. I feel like we have so many similarities. This is. Too Faced, Born This Way Concealer, just under my eyes in a couple places. But I have been on like several different platforms. For example, Taste Made. So their videos are mostly on Facebook and their Facebook page has like almost 40 million followers. It's insane. And the comments I get on those videos are like 90% mean. <laughs> like so mean, but I feel like on this channel, the comments I get on my videos are like 98% supportive and nice and friendly. And um, if there ever is a correction, it's just done in like such a loving, kind way. Like we're all trying to help each other out. So I love that and I love you guys so much and I really appreciate that. I'm going to, real quick, one thing I've been doing is mixing sunscreen with a little bit of my Born This Way foundation and it makes more of like a tinted moisturizer so I don't look so like cakey. But with that and like with you guys, I feel like, I don't know if it's just kind of worked out this way, but we have very similar interests, which is cool. I don't know if it is unwise, like all of these business podcasts are saying, to just do so many different things, but I feel like YouTube should be a platform for me to make videos that I am passionate about instead of like get stuck in a rut. And I feel like so far, you have had the same interest as me. Like we all like to have pretty homes, but we also like to cook and to eat healthy. We also like to improve our lives, um, improve our finances, improve our relationships, talk about marriage and weddings and all those things. And like, that's not a niche at all. So I don't wanna like conform <laughs> to what is wise as far as like the business sense goes. I want to keep hanging out with you guys and make this like an actual friendship because in an actual friendship, you don't always just talk about one topic. There's so many things I'm interested in, so many things I'm always learning and so many things I want to grow in. And I like want to, I want to grow in those things with you. Also, like one of my really big goals with this channel is to try to bring you as much value as possible. I'm using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder just because it's really cheap and your girl's on a budget. Um, but I like love doing fun videos and like vlogs have been very fun, not formal, not sit down. And um, I've done, I've been branching out a little bit with other fun videos like the subscription box review, which I guess is also informative. But I also want to branch out with more informative videos too, like interviewing industry professionals. So coming up, I'm interviewing a wedding planner, I'm interviewing a life coach, and just trying to bring you information that I think would value all of our lives, including my own. Let me know if that sounds like something you'd like. I feel like a lot of you, like me, are interested in that type of stuff. I'm gonna floof the brows. The reason I use a lot of Too Faced things is when I was a personal assistant, Too Faced catered 
an event that my boss was doing and so they gave me a ton of free things technically for all the celebrities there not for me i really liked a lot of it so i have rebought it a couple times actually even though it's out of my price range anywho also i feel like watching youtube i feel like a lot of people do the same things there are some challenges that i do feel like look like fun um like a husband tag things like that but i feel like a lot of the same videos get recycled through different creators and it just seems less authentic so i want to always try to create as much original content as possible trends do sound fun sometimes so who knows maybe i'll do that too but um i always mess up my brows so sorry in advance but i want to just be as relatable as possible i mean i'm a newly graduated newly married starving artist in la that lives in a small studio and like even if my channel continues to grow and i continue to build success i don't want to lose those parts of myself. Not many people really talk about their faith that much on YouTube. I think it's really cool that so many of you have similar faiths as me, similar values as me, similar personalities to me. I want to represent myself as true as possible and I think it's really cool that you have similar interests. But with that, I do want to know what types of videos you really enjoy because I'm here just as much for you, if that makes sense. Like I said, I want to bring value to your life and value to my life. I want this to just be like a beneficial relationship for all of us to where we have fun but we also learn together. I know that home videos are something that people really like, wedding videos are something people really like, but like for example another thing with wedding videos, wedding videos get so many more views than my other videos but now I'm transitioning to marriage and I think a cool thing about weddings and marriage is that a lot of you right now are in the like wedding planning engagement process but soon a lot of you will be married so um kind of the phases that we're going through life we're going through together. So I don't think like, for example, me kind of slowly transitioning from wedding stuff to marriage stuff is necessarily a bad thing because you will also be transitioning from wedding to marriage as well. I do want to know what types of things you like, what types of videos you like. I'm not going to do a video that feels inauthentic to me. I think one thing that is really interesting about social media, I also need to go back and brush back through these brows, I know, but interesting about YouTube in particular is it's so easy to tell when people are being genuine and ingenuine and when people are excited about the content that they're putting out versus like doing it because views or because sponsorships or anything like that. That being said, I'm always going to just put out content that I'm excited about because then it's just a much more pleasant viewing experience. But I feel like we are all excited about very similar things. This is a super small eyeshadow palette that's so old and gross from Smashbox. What is it even called? Hot Metallic Eye Palette. I got it on sale at Marston Rack. <laughs> and it has a lot of neutrals that I've pretty much gone through. So I just do that almost every day. But yeah, let me know the types of videos you like. I love that you like vlogs because those have been really fun to do. Um, and like I said, I want to start transitioning into, not transitioning, but adding in interviews with professionals. Also some fun things, like this. Like, am I a makeup person? No, <laughs> but this is fun. This is the uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes that I got in the Fat Fit Fun Box, I think it was. And I like it. It's not as good. I got a small sample size of the Superhero by It, and I like this better. Actually, I'm going to use this. See, I can't talk and do makeup. I already forgot that I didn't do my eyeliner yet. I've been using this. I forgot I got this in a box, but um, I like it. It's very pigmented. It's the Ico London Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. I gotta get really close to the mirror for this. It's a little scary. All of that to say, I wanna know your thoughts. And I just wanna like be clear with my intentions with this channel. Listening to that podcast about being more niche with your channel really kind of got into my head because like I said I'm not niche at all um, and they were talking about how like as far as like the business side of things go yes you're appealing to more people but you get more lost in the shuffle because you're not really dominating one area um, and that makes sense but I don't want to do what's business right if it doesn't feel like me and I feel like it's okay to be a more diverse, well-rounded channel because I'm not just interested in one thing, I'm interested in a lot of things. I just wanna get your thoughts on that. I'm just gonna quickly finish with a little bit of bronzer. This is like my everyday makeup routine. It's so easy and simple. This is the Too Faced, yet again, because I got it for free, <laughs> um, Sun Bunny bronzer, I think. I have had it for over a year and it still looks barely used and I literally use it every day. I know that a lot of people like contour with bronzer, but I try to put it where the sun would hit me which might be wrong, but 
That's what I do. This video was not very planned, which is probably why I sound like I'm rambling a little bit because I didn't really think through what I wanted to say. I just knew that I wanted to talk to y'all about my channel as it grows because I want to do the right thing. And I want you to know where my heart is. And my heart really is just continuing to build a relationship with y'all and continuing to improve ourselves while having fun in like a wholesome, loving way. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for clicking on this video. If you did, you're the real MVP. You care. You're the people that send me DMs and chat with me and hang out with me and become my real friends. So I love that so much. So thank you for watching. Um, my everyday makeup <laughs> as I ramble. I have a vlog coming soon and then so many videos. I actually have a lot of videos batched. So I am trying to figure out what days makes the most sense for them to come out, what order, but a lot of fun stuff coming up soon. So it should be exciting. I love y'all so much. Have the best day ever. Thank you for watching all the way through. Bye.